In this video, we're going to work through the unit Create Custom Buttons and Links. This is the sixth unit in the Lightning Experience Customization Module. Before jumping ahead to the hands-on challenge, I just want to talk through a couple of these instructions here because they're really long and I don't know, like, I don't know, like, did we get to the sixth unit and people stopped editing this? Like, why are there, dear God, 22 instructions in this one list? But it's actually not that overwhelming. So let me just try to break it down for us, okay? Basically just, there's three things that are happening. You're creating this link. You're then using this link to add it to the page layout. You're then assigning the page layout to the profile. Okay. Create a custom detail page link. I feel like this doesn't really explain exactly why the sales rep wants to do this. Like the sales rep wants to compare what the customer is paying to the U.S. national average because if the customer is paying more than the U.S. national average, that becomes a selling opportunity for you to say, hey, you're in pain, you're paying more, you can save money if you make this transition. So, so from setup, again, this is a lot of instructions all melded together. I wish they broke this up a little get, bit more, but this whole part is creating the, the link. And then once you do that, you then um, can use the page layouts and add it to the page layout. And at the end of the day, it looks like this so when you're actually looking you can just click here and pull up um, this page which is cool so for create a custom detail page button this is actually freakishly cool and i feel like and it's super powerful because what we're doing here is we're pulling in right we're pulling in the street the city the state and the postal code information from Salesforce into this button. So you can just look it up on Google Maps and see where it is. That's incredibly cool. You know, and that's what this looks like here. This is this incredibly powerful formula that, okay, fine, just moving along. And again, here you create this button and now should be a whole new set of instructions. Now you add it to the page layouts and then you can go ahead and check it out. And the way that it actually looks here, you have to go to the, sorry, click on buttons. And this ends up getting dragged down here to the custom button area. And then when you actually have an account open, you could click this down arrow and see the map location. And that should pull up the address. Okay, let's go ahead and do this hands-on challenge. Create a custom button for the contact object. So we're gonna go into setup, object manager, contact. Button links and actions, new button or link. And we're gonna call this Google info. And the button opens this link. And what type of do we want this to be? We want a, a custom button for the contact. I think we want this to be a detail page button. Save, okay. And then from here, I'm gonna to go to page layouts, the contact layout. And we're gonna go buttons, Google info into our custom buttons and click save. Let's just take a look at this. From here, we're in Genie Point right now. Let's go look at Edna. From here, be able to click on Edna Frank. Okay. 
Let's see if that worked. <laughs> 